Hello fellow RC enthusiasts, it's your host Tom Cogswell here for another video and I'm joined by my buddy and another fellow RC enthusiast, Cody Adair from the eFlight team. Hey guys. And we're going to talk about the Spectrum Smart ESCs and in particular the 100 amp that comes with the brand new eFlight P51 guys. So at the time that you're viewing this video, this airplane will have been recently announced. We're super excited oh, about yeah. it. It's not just your regular old P51. As Tom was saying, this does have the smart 100 amp speed control in it. So you're gonna get not only the cool flight characteristics out of a P51, you're gonna get a whole heck of a lot of data reported directly to your transmitter as well. Yeah. Absolutely, and all that data is reported to any spectrum radio, any current gen spectrum radio, rather. Right. Uh, so that includes like the DX6Es, the DX9, the DX8, which we have on the table here. Um, so what, what else about this E-Flight P51 makes it smart? What else do we got in here? So, I mean, it's just a smart ESC. It does have the new smart motor, which again is kind of a combination package. Okay. Um, it's got the AR637T in there as well, guys. So that is okay. the latest latest receiver from Spectrum that's gonna, that really gives you all those cool features as well. So it's when paired with the smart speed controller, you get all kinds of cool stuff. The 637T is a really exciting new addition to our lineup of receivers. It comes with AS33X and smart and safe built right into it, ready to set up. But this one comes ready out of the box, all ready to fly. Right, um, and, I, and what he said there is very important, guys. This is the first release from eFlight and Spectrum with the Avion ESC already installed, ready to go for you guys. Yep. So with the smart ESC, you don't have to have a smart battery. You can use whatever battery you want. Another thing with the, the smart ESCs is that you can use that with any other receiver and it works like just any other ESC at that point. But only when it's paired together with the smart ecosystem like the 637T and a Spectrum smart compatible transmitter will you get the full benefits of smart technology. Right. We make that super easy with this particular platform. Right, yeah. very cool stuff, absolutely. So one of the things he's talking about guys is if you pair this particular model or an Avion ESC and a 637 receiver and you pair it with a Spectrum Smart battery, mm -hmm. you actually get really cool neat features. So we'll go into some more features later, but one of the features you'll get is independent you know, battery voltage per cell. Yep. Um, you'll also get this really cool voltage warning at the beginning of power up. So when you first power this particular model up or an Avion ESC up, what you're gonna get is a warning on the screen letting you know what your current voltage status is at. And that's one of the reasons why we have a screen up here. This is actually a Chromecast from our iX20 right here. And you'll see it says, warning, battery's not charged for flying because we plugged in a battery that is at 3.78 volts per cell. Right, so you'll get that feature guys if you pair it with a Spectrum Smart Battery with a Spectrum Avion ESC. Mm -hmm. So really cool features. That's just one of the cool neat things that you get with this particular model. Yeah. You know, if you guys are going out to the field like we are, we're going out with like 12, maybe 20 packs and you don't yeah. always know which ones are full. So cool feature to have here in case you might forget or not know mm -hmm. which batteries are charged. Yeah, let's jump in. Let's, so we've got this warning here. And, and like I said, these things are gonna pop up on like a DX8 like I have on the table. And if you guys follow along, we're gonna do some little snippets and possibly at the end, we're gonna throw in some screens from a DX8 right. just so you can see, you know, as a contrast between iX20 and a iX12, what it looks like on a Gen 2 radio. Right, so the reason, to point on to that a little bit, guys, the reason why we're using an iX20 is because it is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capable, mm -hmm. and we wanted you guys to be able to see what we're doing on the screen. So what you're gonna see here on this screen is gonna be almost identical to yep. what you'll I'm see on the Generation 2 transfer. I'm literally gonna hit cancel here, and it's gonna cancel out our warning. So, and if I swipe over, we'll see all the stuff that comes with it. So when you bind up to this receiver, the 637T, or a 6610T that has a smart ESC plugged into it, it will automatically configure all your telemetry for you. That's cool. But there are some things that it doesn't know that you have to put in, but it does automatically configure what your high voltage is, what your low voltage is, and things like that. Cool. So, and then also it'll put in some extra pages for us. So if we swipe over, we're gonna have our smart telemetry screen, which has motor current, our FET temperature, and RPM. It also gives us a little battery bar here. We got flight log data, the min and maxes. So if you're flying, you'll see what your maximum voltage it was at one point and what your minimum voltage was. Very cool. Things like that. But here's a new gauge. So this is the gauge screen that's only on the iX20. That's very cool. So this is really cool. And if we, well, let's move this radio out of the way. We've got a prop on here, so let's all be careful, kids. <laughs> We're gonna throttle up. Oh, I got throttle cut on. That's always That's good. important. So as you guys could see there, we had an amperage bar that will grow with the amperage and an RPM bar that will 
grow with the RPM. So if you have a DX8 or a transfer that's not the iX12 or the iX20, what will that screen look like? You won't get it. Okay. So this is an only iX20 thing. Okay, but you do get a percentage of some sort that indicates you what you have. So yeah. you'll get you'll get your your um, RPM information in the form of a percentage and a number. Mm -hmm. um, you'll also get your battery or your uh, ESC amp rate as well. Yeah, you'll get everything else with that. And this is a customizable panel that you can set up however you want. You can have up to three gauges on one page. You can have multiple pages with different gauges on it. I just wanted to kind of show that off because it's really cool. With the it is very cool. On top of that, if we swipe over, we'll have more ESC information. So if I throttle up, you'll see some of that stuff. And then we'll have more min and maxes from the battery. Ah, here's another really cool thing about the smart batteries is that there's a cycle number. Oh, that's so awesome. We know how many times this battery's been charged or discharged and then charged again. So this battery, it's a 4,000 milliamp that we've got in here. It has been charged six times. Very cool. It also shows if your battery cells are unbalanced. That's pretty neat as well. That's true. I know. That's really cool. So we got the discharge current of the pack, the actual temperature of the pack. So if you're flying and you, you're experimenting with props and different batteries and things like that, if your battery's starting to get pretty hot, it'll give you a warning. And then Very you cool. can see how hot it got during that flight. Uh, and then, like we were saying, cell voltages. It has each of the cells voltages. Very cool. So if you guys want to see if you have a cell that's getting a little low. Now that particular menu, guys, is only capable if you have a smart battery. If you do not have a smart battery, you will get total voltage out of the battery, but you will not get to see independent cell readings. So another reason, guys, to update your flight pack battery inventory and start going to smart. Mm -hmm. So let's go into what we need to do when we bind this up to our radio. Right, so if I wanted to set, for example, say a low voltage alarm. So before, a lot of our users are using the timer, guys. You set your timer to, a, you know, let's speak to this airplane for a minute. You may set it for eight minutes. And then after that eight minutes, you're going to land. And then that's just a good caution to land when that timer goes off. Mm -hmm. With smart capability, really, we're kind of, I feel like we're fading out the timer a little bit here. You can still use it, of course, but now you have exact information on your battery. So if you can fly for nine and a half minutes compared to the eight, you can do that. Yeah. So if I wanted to set up when my alarm's gonna kick on, where do I do that at? So it's, it's gonna be essentially the same thing on any other radio. We're gonna go to the telemetry menu, which is right here on the NIX-12, or IX-20, also on IX-12. And in this particular instance, we're gonna go to ESC, and this is if you're using a non-smart or a smart battery. If you are using a smart battery, it essentially automatically sets that up for you. Okay. But if you're using a non-smart battery, you would do it here. So we would say our volts minimum would be, and it's already set up at 21.6. So it's a six cell. Usually I fly to about 3.2, 3.3 volts per cell. So I would multiply that by six. What's that? 18. Somebody's doing the math. Right. <laughs> but you guys know, it automatically set this up to 21.6 for us because it knows that that's a smart sure. battery. We can change that if we'd like. We could just tap here and change the number. No need to. We'll go ahead and go that way. Other things you need to set up is if you wanted to set up your temperature of the ESC to, to give you an alarm at the end, we would set that up. So right here, we're at temperature. We could set that up to at 140 degrees it would say okay your ESC is a little hot very Maybe cool it's time to check it out and then if we wanted to set up the poles of the motor which is important if you want to get accurate RPM information is you have to go to the ESC menu just like I did here and set up the poles of the motor so I'm gonna hit the inhibit button here I'm gonna tap inhibit on my screen and I believe this is Potentially a 12 volt motor. Yeah. We'll double check that and put it in the description below so that you guys know exactly what it is. I believe it's a 12 pole. That's pretty common to pull number. And once we have that, we just go back to the RPM gauge and we'll get accurate RPMs. Cool stuff. Very cool stuff, guys. So on top of that, if we go to the smart battery setting. So when we plugged in the battery, it gave us a warning of that the battery was either fully or not fully charged, you know, not safe for it flying. where the battery was essentially, yeah. Um, if we go to startup voltage right here and here, that's what sets that alarm off. So if you want this number to be higher or lower, you can go down to, I believe it goes down to like 4.0 or something okay. like that. Very cool. And, or if you are a guy like me, I like to fly HV batteries, uh, I will put this up to 4.35. So if it goes above 4.35, it'll tell you that the battery's been overcharged. Very cool, guys. Yeah. Right, so now we've gone through a lot of the smart ESC, or the smart features with really this particular stuff. Avion ESC. Yeah. Um, let's talk about what 
receivers that we currently have in our inventory that are actually capable of working with the Avion ESC. So to get the whole smart suite, you gotta have new hardware. Uh, older hardware is not gonna work. The current lineup of ESCs and receivers, uh, receiver-wise, is gonna be the AR410, the AR620, the AR6610T, and the AR637T. Okay, so the guys that are looking to put this system in an airplane that requires more than six channels. Mm -hmm. At this point in time, we don't have anything that we could offer them. But every receiver from this point out will be smart compatible. Okay, so what Tom is saying, hint, hint, <laughs> is we may have or may not have more receivers coming soon with a lot more channels that will work with the smart lineup, Yeah, right? Uh, it really, it, it's gonna be, like I said, any receiver from this point, every radio from this point is gonna be smart compatible. We feel like it's the way of the future. I would agree, absolutely. Really. It's gonna become standard, guys. It's a really cool feature. Mm -hmm. And then radio-wise, like I was saying, you'd have to have a current Gen 2 Spectrum radio or an IX Spectrum radio right. to get this kind of stuff. Absolutely. So if you got an older DX8, the silver one, or the 7S, or even going back to the 7 Special Edition, those aren't going to work. Same right. with like the DX6i and things right. like that. So let's recap, guys. If you buy the P51, the first airplane from EU flight that we incorporate the Avion 100 amp ESC into, you will get battery voltage, independent cell voltage. We are going to have temperature data. We're gonna have RPM data. You're gonna get a battery voltage indicator on power up for the first time, letting you know if it actually meets the criteria for flight. Really cool feature mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. That's just some of the features, guys. There's more to come. We have really cool things in this airplane. Be sure to check it out. We appreciate you guys being here. Really cool stuff coming from Spectrum. So we've covered the iX20 and how it looks with the new P51 from E-Flight. Let's go ahead and bind it up to a DX8 and show you guys just real quick what you're gonna get if you have one of our Gen 2 DX radios. Very cool, let's do it. All right. All right guys, so we've got this DX8 here bound up to our P51. And like I said, I just wanna give you guys a quick demo of what you're gonna see. So we've already got it bound up and we've already got the telemetry auto configured. So we're gonna scroll to the right. You get your min and maxes. So we got our voltages from our battery and all that good stuff. So ESC min and maxes, that's always good to know. And just like the other screen from the iX20 that you saw on our left-hand side there, the battery bar, so we know that this battery is pretty dead. I think I flew it in my Fusion 480 uh, last weekend, so it's been sitting kind of dead for a little bit. And then if we throttle up, we'll get RPM and things like that. Current, that's pretty cool. And then we'll have battery info. Once again, our cycles on the battery. That's probably my favorite thing. Is that, And then all of our cell balances there. And that's what you'll see on a DX8. Like, like, like I said, make sure you are up to date to version 2.03 on your Spectrum Gen 2 radio spiel to get this kind of features. Uh, or 2.03 plus, so above that. All right. So man, we're all smarted up here. I even got uh, our smart checker charging my smart transmitter with a smart battery. That is a cool feature, guys. Yeah. So not only is uh, the Avion ESC groundbreaking technology for the air <laughs> side of things, the new smart checker from Spectrum is also really yeah, cool, it's guys. It's not so new. It's, uh, it's, it's new been out for a little while. But, but this, it's, it's really a cool it, feature, guys. It's probably my favorite uh, field box item because <laughs> I can keep my radio charged. I can keep my cell phone charged. You can check your batteries. You can charge even, your transmitter. <laughs> uh, you can even extend the gear because it has a servo driver on it. Yeah. So really just a cool quick trip bit there. All right. All right, guys. Just a little recap again, guys. Thank you for being here. This is the latest. Or this is the latest model from E-Flight. This is the P51D 1.5 meter. It is equipped with the Spectrum Smart Avion ESC 100 amp ESC. It's capable of doing a wide range of things, guys. As we were talking earlier in the video, you got battery voltage, independent cell data, RPM, temperature. This, the sky is the limit with the new Avion ESC. It's really cool features. This is, the, again, the first airplane to come to the E-Flight brand mm -hmm. with this equipment. So we're really excited about this stuff. And with Smart, it's all about making it easier and safer for everybody in the RC hobby. Right. Automatically, just with Smart batteries to Smart chargers, automatically sets the settings. And when you have a Smart battery in your Smart airplane, like the P51, automatically sets your voltage alarms for you and you're good to go. Yeah, so very cool stuff, guys. Happy flying. Be check, should definitely check it out. Enjoy the product. Mm -hmm. So Thank thanks you. for joining us. Stay tuned for more smart videos. If you have any other comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe to the Spectrum YouTube channel and we'll be able to get you more content. And thanks for joining us. Thanks, have a good guys. one. See you.